Hi guys, welcome to yet another lecture in your JSON class. Now in this lecture, we are going to see JSON stringify. Now stringify just like parsing is something uh, that you will use more often and is very much the opposite of what you did in parsing. So let's see that in examples and uh, try to understand how you can use JSON stringify. So let's get started. So one common thing or one common use of JSON is to exchange data to and from web server. While sending data to a web server, the data has to be a string. So just like we receive something from a web server as a string, we need to also make sure we send it like a string. Now to convert the JavaScript object into actually a string, you can use json.stringify. So let us see that as an example. So variable, let's say person is equals to an object name John. I should actually use age twenty five city New York. Okay, so that's my JavaScript object. Very simple, very straightforward, no confusions. Now you can write a my JSON object is equals to JSON dot stringify and then pass your person object to it. So this will convert it to a complete string. You do really do not have to actually, you know, write the codes here just like we took the example earlier and converted everything to a JSON object. You don't need to do that. Again, it has to be in the same line if you do that. So let's do that and do a console.log my JSON. Again, this should just give you a string representation of the entire object. So let's go here and let's run. You can see everything is just a string. And it is escaping the double quotes because it's displaying in JS bin. If you see it in the console, it should give you exact string. Okay. Another cool thing about JSON stringify is you can actually stringify an array itself. So let's say your array is something like this. Well, let's say John, Johnny, and Tom. These are three guys in your array. And if you want to actually stringify it, you can just do variable array object is equals to JSON dot stringify and then pass your array. What this will do is let's do a console log of array object and it will convert your array into a JSON object or rather a string. Not yet reflected. Let's run again. Okay, now I see all three array elements as a string object. Now, so you can actually use the array object over your network. And of course, if it's just a string and it's in the format of an object, you can also convert that. But mostly you will not need it when you're just, uh, you know, actually converting arrays because when you're transferring data to your remote server, you need to make sure it's a JSON object. So it has to be in the curly braces. It should have a key value pair. Now the other exception to stringify is of course the dates. So the moment you have any dates in your object, let's say, you know, birth date out here. Uh, let's give it a new date for now. So we don't have to, a new baby just born. So as you can see, the final date object is actually converted to a string. So whatever was the new date got printed out as a string value. So you can see it is very simple. So anything that you pass in JSON has to be a string, including functions. So if you have a function given out here, let's say, you know, instead of age 25, you can write a function which will return 25. In this scenario, the age and the whole value, the key and the value, the name and the value pair will be completely excluded, which means you will not see age at all. You will only see birth, name and city you can see birth name and city so if you give a function when you do a json stringify the function will just be excluded or the key value pair will be excluded from your json final json now again you should avoid using json uh, you know functions in your json object as much as possible 
But again, uh, there are workarounds that you can do uh, for at least parsing, but not for stringify because it will not be able to convert it to a string. So that was all about JSON stringify and pretty much that's a closure to our JSON as a section. So, you know, the class on JSON. So if you have any questions around JSON overall or probably any of these things that we have discussed or talked about, let me know in the Q&A section or in the comments below. And as usual, I'll see you in some other class.